Dan, I know you and Simone had a conversation this week with some pretty inspiring activists. Tell us about that. Yeah, Simone and I got a chance earlier this week to hang out with some amazing moms who are working every day to fight to save health care. In the final push to the midterms, health care has emerged as the most important issue to voters. If Republicans maintain control of Congress, there's no mystery about what they will do. Senator Mitch McConnell says if Republicans retain control of Washington, they could again attempt to repeal the Affordable Care Act. But moms like Sarah Atkins and Elena Hung have children with complex medical needs, and they are fighting back. Members of Congress, make no mistake, when you come after our kids, healthcare voters are coming after you. We sat down with these activists to hear what's at stake for their families. I have five special needs kids, um, one who is medically unstable. My daughter spent the first five months of her life in the neonatal intensive care unit. The medical bill for that day was $3 million. And to be clear, it's $3 million I don't have. <laughs> What does the Affordable Care Act meant for your families? When the ACA passed, I could breathe. I knew that she would be insured. What that's meant for me is that I could focus on her yeah. without thinking about medical bills. We're one of the richest nations in the, in the world. Why are families going bankrupt? Because they need medication. How important is this election for each of your families. This election is about life and death. It's about medical care that helped our children survive and is the reason that they're thriving right now. So do y'all feel like people, like some elected officials, frankly, don't care about our kids? No. It also encourages me to actually run for office eventually because we need to get rid of these people. So, Elena, tell us about the Little Lobbyists. We are a family-led group. Uh, we all have children with complex medical needs and disabilities. And we started showing up on Capitol Hill to tell our stories, really to put a face on health care. How do you find time to everything you have to do as a parent for your children and be an activist? I don't know about Sarah, but I don't, <laughs> I don't sleep. So. I don't sleep either. Right. <laughs> we thank you for not sleeping. Uh, there's no sleeping. I was fighting for her life in the NICU. I'm fighting for her life now. Moms just do what they have to do. I tell my children, I am going to do everything in my power. I will fight with every part of my being for them. My daughter's four. I have never given up on her. I have spent 169 days at her bedside in the NICU. I never once gave up. This is not a time to give up. We're gonna keep fighting this.